Lars Phillips here from Avier Wealth Advisors. You may have seen a few of the other videos that we've put together all about the deferred compensation plan available at Microsoft. We wanted to dive very quickly into how can you make this work from a cash flow perspective. So as you might know, if you want to be able to defer as much as possible and save as much money as possible from a tax perspective, you can defer 100% of your cash bonus and you can defer up to 75% of your salary. Well, if you're making those sorts of deferrals, what are you gonna do from a cash flow perspective in terms of just your basic living expenses? And when it comes to that, we would recommend utilizing the restricted stock units or the RSUs that you receive over the course of the year. Now, when you receive those restricted stock units, there's nothing that you can do about those from an income perspective. When you receive those, that is treated as income. And on top of that, if you hold on to those shares of stock when you receive them, it is as if you have been given cash and then you've decided to take every single dollar that you've received and simply invest it in Microsoft stock. Instead, we'd recommend one, selling those shares immediately. If you're utilizing deferred comp, making sure that you're setting aside enough to live off of. And then if you do have any excess, making sure that you're diversifying that across the board instead of investing in just one company, investing in essentially every company across the globe. Now, if this is a strategy that you're gonna utilize, we would recommend that from a cash flow perspective, you don't say, based on today's price, here's the RSUs that I expect to receive in the upcoming year and use that as kind of your middle ground. Because essentially, what happens if Microsoft stock goes down? In that sort of a scenario, we wanna make sure that you still have enough to live on if you utilize this strategy. And so again, we'd recommend that if you are utilizing deferred comp and you've really pushed it to the limit, making sure that from an RSU perspective that we take the Microsoft stock that we expect to receive into account, we reduce the price by a substantial amount so that if the price does in fact go down, you still have enough to live on. And in doing so, it's gonna really help you manage your cash flow and take advantage of deferred comp to the extent that you can while saving as much money as possible in taxes. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. We work with a lot of Microsoft employees, particularly those level 67 and above, and we can help people save a lot of money in taxes by utilizing the deferred comp program.